actually have Mike Hughes with us. Um, he is from the Martin Agency. We're really going to be just, it's more of a question and answer, more of a dialogue discussion with Greg Jomas, who's our outgoing um, president for the San Diego Ad Club. You know, Mike's truly an ad legend. We're kind of running out of ad legends. He said he'd come out of here and be the fourth of our Legend Series speaker, so I'm really excited he's here. You can blame us for the GEICO work and the guy at the whiteboard for UPS and all the save money, live better work for Walmart and those, that crazy ban for free credit report and some of those things. You know, I, we've never done a commercial that I didn't want to do over. I mean, I, I, because um, it is rare that we nail it the way I want to. So whole campaigns, I always want to do something better. Uh, some individual spots, I, I loved our, one of our first um, testimonials for Geico with Little Richard. I thought that was pretty fun. The big charge people get from the work is often based on the new technology or doing something different. And I think soon we're going to also have to do things well in addition to doing them different. And I think that's a huge opportunity. Well, these events for Ad Club are so inspiring creatively. And so anytime we have one of these events, I walk away with a whole long list of great ideas and things that I want to take back to work and implement for my clients. So I love it. I am a big fan of Mike Hughes and all the work he's done in the past. So want to see it up close, hear the war stories on how it actually happened. So very excited about that. Well, you know, the Martin Agency has been one of the premier agencies in the last year and just want to hear Mike's story. And coming from a smaller market, it's interesting to San Diego. Definitely to see, you know, some creative powerhouses come in. And uh, I think we have opportunity here in our market to make a splash like he did in his. Learn new creative ideas. I mean, we're always looking for uh, sort of the, the the best of the best and what's happening out there. So, uh, very excited to hear him talk. I want to talk to people that are successful, that are doing a great job at what they're doing, and be inspired. I really like the Geico campaign, and so I'm really interested in how they put that together. Without any further ado, Mike Hughes. I am so lucky, as Greg just said, I get to go to work every morning with 575 people I love. Um, that's just such a gift. We are incredibly hard on ourselves at the agency, and um, I'm famous for recruiting by telling everybody that all our work sucks, and my partners always try to tell me before we have staff meetings, now, Mike, don't tell them again how bad we are. And so. Um, I'm trying to get better at that. We've been very fortunate, especially the last couple of years, we get a lot of calls, and it's just against my religion to so tell somebody, we, no, we can't do your business. I mean, I, I always think we can do anything. And my, the creative people always thought I was crazy, and then I found out Jay Shot always said the same thing, so I figured I was a genius. <laughs> um, 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 but I think we can do anything. They hold me back. I think San Diego is, the, the people that I've been talking to here, the people I've talked to in the past, I think you're way too hard on yourself. I mean, I think you do a lot of wonderful things. I had no idea why uh, some of the agencies haven't gotten the momentum to get larger. But um, what I think is that this would be a, a great time to be in the business because I think this isn't a golden age for creative work. This is a golden age for media, doing new things in media. And we've got this digital and internet. And we can do so many things we couldn't do before. But we also have to get back to the time when we're doing things just really well. Make that television commercial. Make that print ad. Make it great. And we're not putting the pressure on ourselves to do that. And I think there's an opening. I hope we're one of the people, agencies that fill that open. I think there's an opening if you do that kind of work now. Um, and people will notice. Um, I was saying that I come to San Diego not often. Once every 10, 12 years I'm out here. But you talk about having trouble 
hiring people. Well, this is a wonderful place to come. I mean, uh, you know, the East Coast this last week has been 100 degrees and steamy and humid and miserable. And I came out here and I had a note from Greg that said, I apologize for the weather this morning. And I was out in my shorts going for a walk saying, this is the best I've felt in, <laughs> in months, you know. And we tell people in Richmond, you come to Richmond because we have four distinct seasons. Well, two of those seasons suck, you know? <laughs> you have one season here, and it's pretty terrific. <laughs> 20 years ago, um, somebody, one of the publications said the Martin Agency is probably the best print agency in the country. And I actually told them at that time that watch these guys in San Diego, Vitro Robinson, because I think they're going to be the best print agency in the country. Then about 10 years, ago, five years ago, they said Martin Agency might be the best TV agency in the country. Whatever medium they say is dying, that's our specialty. <laughs> <laughs> the first time they brought me the gecko, I killed it. And then they Literally brought it. you killed a gecko? I killed, well, I, I killed the spot. Okay. <laughs> and they brought it back, and I killed it again. I said, we're not doing that. It's just corny, hokey, geico, gecko. We're not going to do that. They brought it back again. I said, what are you guys? Want? I'm not going to do that. They confessed that they had developed it over drinks with the client, and the client had already bought it. <laughs> so I thought, OK, one commercial. How bad can it be? <laughs> and they came in and said, OK, we put this British accent on. I said, what has that got to do with anything? And they said, we just thought it was kind of funny. And so, um, <laughs> but one commercial, how bad could it be? And then there was an actor's strike. And we were looking for things that we could produce. And so we produced the Geico Gecko, ended up in three more spots. One of the things that I believe very strongly is the people who create the advertising need to be in it. You need to feel that. Some people wonder why, OK, so you already have five campaigns, and, and the, you've given the Gecko five or six different personalities over the years. You've done different things with him. And I said, it's because we put different writers on them, and I want the writers to put themselves in it. And the client has been, um, I think, wise enough to let us do that. And so I want that humanity, I think, um, too many people are afraid to put themselves in it. What we owed our clients, the clients were paying for us to do something that drove their business. And it would drive their business more if we could do work that people in the real world really liked and, and talked about. And people in the real, my wife and I went for like 10 or 11 years in a row, went to the Sundance Film Festival. And I like those little spooky or foreign films. I love those. But that's not what America goes to. America goes to Will Ferrell movies, and it goes to um, blockbuster movies. And so what we consciously did is say, OK, I wanna, we want to do stuff that affects popular culture. We want to do things that people talk about. The president uh, did shrewdly hire an actual celebrity translator, though, to help him get his message across. But we are not yet safe. Help me! Somebody help me! For America, 9-11 was more than a tragedy. It changed the way we look at the world. Nice 